When you're running 100 miles, you're running for 21, 22, 23 hours. A lot of stuff can unravel when you're out there running for a long time. You put yourself in a situation and you really don't think you're gonna make it. And then somehow you do. And after the wave like that, beer tastes good, food tastes good. These rugged mountain environments are not made for life. You know, you're up there, there's nothing living. There's not even a speck of lichen. I always say, you know, going for a run clears your mind, but running an ultra clears your soul. I think I've completed 42 ultras and 500 mile races. Running gear is probably one of the most essential parts of running ultras, whether it's being comfortable in the shorts and all the chafing in the right places. I would never go, you know, start a 100 mile race without having worn a certain piece before. And I've had these for about two years. These shorts have probably seen 5,000 miles on them. <laughs> these are like my handy dandy best friends. So with modern day high performance surfboards, you're lucky if it lasts three, four, five months. The surfboard's nine years old and doesn't have one single ding in it. I've taken that board to Indonesia, Canada, the wedge, a trip to Fiji to Cloud Break, a trip to Tahiti to Chopu, Washington. Oh, I took it to Norway and Iceland also. I just have a confidence in that board. And the reason why is because I know it so well. The amount of good ways I've had on that board is, it makes me smile when I think about it. Last January, I did a trip with a good buddy of mine, Alex Honold, and we managed to traverse the entire Fitzroy Massif. We climbed for four days. We climbed about 18 hours a day, seven different major summits, 12,000 feet of vertical gain, groveling through cracks for days, and just getting our arms in there. The reason that we can exist for days at a time is because of clothing that will make it work. Yeah, beautiful. The most important thing is just to, like morale is high. A lot of people would be, when they're intimidated, they just get scared. They want to go down. Well, I am quite scared. <laughs> and you know why? Because of this. <laughs> it's hard to articulate exactly why one piece of clothing becomes a favorite. I think the experiences you've had, like if you've used it over and over again and it's worked for you, you, you just know it's gonna work. I mean, actually, you don't, even, you, you don't even think about the board because you trust it so much. There's a little bit of superstition involved. I tend to have an emotional connection to certain pieces. I'm like, oh man, I wore this jacket on all of my biggest climbs for the last couple of years. I better bring it or I might not send. These shorts I have won eight races in. I fell in love with this jacket and I'll continue to wear it. Now it'll always be attached to this climb that was one of the most, most rich experiences of my life. They're getting a little, they're getting worn.